Hello and welcome to another of our videos looking at the Arduino. That's the popular open source electronics prototyping platform. In this video we're going to be looking at how you can add a display to your Arduino without using a shield. Now you might want to do this for a variety of reasons, perhaps to make it easier to mount the display in a box or to free up access to the Arduino pins, which some shields prevent you from getting to without using a soldering iron. This is the first of our building block videos. What we're doing with these is to have little mini projects which hopefully will inspire you to take two or three of them and put them together to make a more interesting and exciting project that meets your requirements. In our foundation series we showed how you can easily use an LCD shield, this one here, in your projects. Now most of these shields use multiple pins to drive the display. That one uses six digital pins plus another for backlight control plus five volts and ground and an analog pin for the buttons. This isn't really a problem if you still have enough pins for your projects, for your inputs and outputs, but it can be limiting. Now there is another way, and that is to use a display driven by a serial driver board. These use only four pins, and that includes five volts and ground. Let's have a look at the serial display we have here on the bench. This serial display is uh, 16 characters or 16 columns and two rows and it is very similar to the display that we have on the shield. Now the secret to this is that all the connections you see the solder at the top here normally link to pins which on a shield go straight onto your Arduino. But on the back of this board is a, another PCB. This is from YW Robot and it is a serial interface. And what this does is just have four pin connections at this end with five volts and ground being two of them and two data lines. And it has connections then here we're onto which are the sort of parallel connections which drive this display and it converts the serial data into the data required by the display board. So you can drive this with just four pins. There are other serial drivers available including the Sane Smart serial unit and we've been told this is identical to the YW robot but we haven't been able to test it. We're using the YW Robot LCM1602IIC. Now we bought our serial display from eBay for around eight pounds. That's $12. That's gotta be quite a deal. When we first got the display, getting it working was a challenge to say the least. What we thought would be a few minutes actually turned into a few hours. In fact, for a while, we thought the display was defective. The code available from the supplier on eBay just didn't work. And it turns out that that is pretty common. And in looking at it, we're not quite sure if it ever really worked. To avoid you having the same problems, we're going to go through how you can get a YW Robot serial driven display working. Let's start off by having a look at the circuit diagram. So the schematic diagram is pretty straightforward. We're taking uh, five volts out from the Arduino into the five volts on the YW robot board, ground the same, and we're taking two data connections, SDA for serial data and SCL for the clock signal for the driver. That goes into the little YW robot board, which is soldered, as we saw, onto the back of the LCD. If we look at the wiring of that, you can see it is very straightforward. We have used a red and black to cover the five volts and ground lines and yellow and orange for the two data lines. These diagrams are of course available on our website. 
As you can see, it's pretty simple and we have it already wired up here on the bench. Very straightforward, not much to look at. You can see that uh, the two data lines, SDA and SCL, are coming from the right hand side of the board and the five volts and ground from the other side of the board onto the edge of the connector. The physical connections are not the issue, it's the library you need to add to your Arduino development environment and the code for the sketch to go with it. Now we are using F. Malpatidas, I hope I pronounced that right, new liquid crystal library. To add any library to your Arduino development environment, you need to download the file, unzip it if it was zipped, and then copy that new library to your Arduino libraries folder, and then, importantly, restart the Arduino development environment. So, let's do all that now. I'm looking at the bitbucket.org site for this particular library. The link for this is, of course, on the website. And what we have to do is to click, I'm running OSX here, just click to uh, download, and it has very quickly downloaded the file. It's a zip file, so you have to unzip it, and we'll just double click it to uh, do that. Uh, there we have the liquid crystal directory with all the various files inside it. We don't need to worry ourselves about that, so I'm going to close down the browser. Now, depending which operating system you're running, you need to add it to the particular folder. In OSX, that's in your documents slash Arduino slash libraries folder. But if in Windows, it's my documents slash Arduino slash libraries folder. So we will find our location for it. So we go to documents and Arduino and there's our libraries folder. If it doesn't exist, you can just create it. Make sure you get the spelling correct. And you can see that actually we already have the liquid crystal library there, but we would just drag and drop it in. I'm going to say stop. There's no need for us to replace it. So the library is then installed, but importantly, and I keep stressing this because we have made this mistake more than once, is you have to restart your Arduino development environment. So if you have a, a, a sketch up and you're looking just stop, quit the development environment and then just reload it. If you get any problems with the libraries, an error message normally comes up on startup and allows you to make any adjustments that you want, gives you the information for that. Just a reminder that the links and example code are, of course, on our website at youcontrolit.tv. So let's have a look at the example code we have put together for the serial LCD display. Just going to quickly take you through it. There is actually a link to the library in the notes at the top. We have to load some libraries, the wire, LCD, and the liquid uh, crystal underscore I2C uh, library. We're then going to define a set of variables. These actually are used to detect what type of display is attached to your YW robot. And don't worry too much about that. For this particular display, we have uh, configured the pins. Uh, if you have a different display uh, uh, that's not a 16 by 2 row, you may need to change those connections. We then set up a little integer for counting, and we'll come to that later. We then initialize the display, sending all the uh, pin numbers, and we then run a setup, and the setup defines the LCD as uh, 16 columns by two rows. It switches the backlight on, and it then moves the cursor to zero, zero position, so that is column zero, uh, position, line zero, and it prints 
youcontrolit.tv. It then goes to the next line, to column zero on line uh, one, which actually is line two because the counting always starts at zero, don't forget. And it gives an LCD print command to print count onto the display. And then there is the main loop. And again, it's just an LCD set cursor. It moves the cursor to column seven on line one or two. And it prints N. We set up the N variable earlier. So N is printed. Then we add one to N. So if N was one, N is now two. And we have a delay of a second. So that is the sketch, very simple, and we are going to upload it to compile it and upload it to our Arduino. And if we switch to the display, you can see it has just started. It is displaying youcontrolit.tv and it is counting away. So we have downloaded and installed a new library. We've connected a serial LCD using the YW Robot IIC driver, and we've got the display working with some demo code. Now, just counting from one upwards and displaying a word isn't particularly exciting. But as we said, this is a building block project. This is to show you how you can use the display. So now you need to find something you want to display on the LCD. How about starting with something simple like the temperature? Now you'll find another Arduino building block video from youcontrolit.tv on our website, along with the links and the code used in this video. For more information on this and our other Arduino videos, check out our website, youcontrolit.tv. Do follow us on Twitter to make sure you get updates of what's happening in the world of microcontrollers. And we're at youcontrolit.tv. And if you're watching this on YouTube, that's great, but please subscribe to our channel. Thanks very much for watching.